Hello, Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stamp It Up demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're going to be making a cute, fun fold. We're going to be using the Seashells 3D Embossing Folder, the Friends Are Like Seashells stamp set, and it does have coordinating dies, but we're not going to be using those. I just wanted you to see them. These are called the Seashell seaside seashells dies and then we're also going to be using the by the bay designer series paper that is in the new mini okay but of course before we get started on that we have to go over the buzzworthy business of the day so we have our paper pumpkin kit that you can always subscribe to you have the till the 10th of each month to subscribe to get that particular paper pumpkin kit there is a link in the description box below for you to subscribe to the paper pumpkin kit we would love to have you join us in the paper pumpkin Next up, we have our join special. It is celebration time. And during celebration, you can earn free products with a qualifying order, as well as get a special when you join Stamp It Up and be a member of Honeybee Stamping Hive. Okay, the kit is $99 plus tax and you get to pick out $175 worth of product. That is $50 more than the standard starter kit. Okay, if you want this mini stamping and cutting emboss machine in the new boho blue in color or if you want it in the white you just pay 129 dollars plus tax but you still get to choose 175 dollars worth of product okay and like i said i would love to have you join my team next up we have our february host code special our host code for february is here and my special only offered through me if you place an order of $50 or more using this host code, you have to use the host code. I'm going to send you a pack of the free um, free enamel dot essentials. That is it for all of the buzzworthy business. So let's go ahead and get started because I am excited about this card and we have lots to do. All right. So I have here a base of five and a half by four and a quarter. Yes, that's right. Just five and a half by four and a quarter. That is our base. No scoring, no folding. Okay, and that is Sahara Sand. I also have our card portion that is eight by five and a quarter, and I scored it at four. Let me go ahead and burnish that score line down. And then we have some very vanilla. This is three by three. It really doesn't matter what size this is. This is just some scrap for me to stamp on. Okay. And then we have some designer series paper here. This is, um, what is this? Designer series paper is five and a quarter by four. And we're gonna glue this right here onto the front. And yes, our card is gonna be like this. So let's go ahead and glue this on now. Why not? Look at that. This is a specialty to pack of designer series paper. But I am not using the specialty side. Whoa, can you believe it? I really like this side of the paper. This is gonna fit all the way across our front of our card here, just like that, okay? Then we have a piece of designer series paper that is three and three quarters by three and three quarters, and I have gone ahead and folded it in a diagonal, at a diagonal, okay? So it doesn't matter which way you fold it, I guess it depends on what pattern your paper has. That's what we have, okay? So let's go ahead and get some stamping done real quick because we are gonna need to get out our Stampin' and Cut It Emboss machine. So I have some Sahara Sand ink and we're gonna be stamping on Very Vanilla, this huge seashell. I'm just gonna stamp that right in the middle. I wish the dies for this would cut this out, but what it does, it cuts out everything around it. So you can't really cut that out, but we are going to fussy cut this. So let me go ahead and get my paper snips and start on that. Okay, so now we have this all cut out. Next, we're gonna get our Stampin' and Cut emboss machine because we're gonna do some embossing using the um, embossing folder here. This is a 3D embossing folder. So we only need our platform number one and plate number four. So what I'm gonna do 
is put the logo side of the um, embossing folder down. And I'm going to take the seashell that I fussy cut out and I'm just going to lay it in where it should be. Close the folder and run it through. Okay, and just like that, we have this. Now look at all that detail. Can you see the detail in there? It's so pretty. I love it. Um, I went ahead before the video started and die cut, stamped and die cut some other pieces. So I stamped these on this. So I stamped one in Night of the Navy and one in Sahara Sand. So all I did was stamp it on this designer series paper and fussy cut it out. Then I ran it through the embossing folder just like I did that one. As you can see, that's the designer paper. Okay, so we're gonna be using that. And we have one more thing to stamp. Let's see which side I wanna use this side. We're gonna stamp on this in Night of Navy, our sentiment that says, Friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. And I am hoping to get this straight on here in the center somewhat. That looks like it's a little off, but it'll be good. Okay. Woo. I just stuck my fingernails in this ink pad. Okay. So let's close that up. I don't want to make a mess. Okay, so now we are going to start gluing more things together. So I went ahead and did the inside of the cards already. I put them on two pieces of very vanilla. These are, um, what are these? These are five by three and three quarter. And you need two of them. Well, you don't need two of them. I'm using two of them. And I stamped some more seashells on Sahara Sand and Night and Navy. And I also stamped the seashells on here, but I stamped off the Sahara Sand. I stamped it off before um, stamping it onto here, okay? Yeah, and put some little stuff, the little dotage and everything. So we're just gonna go ahead and glue those inside of our card here. So where's my glue? This one is gonna go, as you can see, that's where I stamped first. And I didn't like how bold it was. So I thought I that was the first stamp off. I said, oh no, I need to stamp off twice. So we're gonna just center this right here. Whoops. Just like this. Stay centered. Then we're gonna put this one on the top. I'm gonna put that one right here. Try to line it up with the one at the bottom. Get this glue off of here. You guys know I'm heavy handed with the glue. Let me close that up. I'm gonna get my embossing buddy because I don't want our car to get glued shut. <laughs> so I just rub that over to get some of the, um, it put powder on that spot there. Okay, so that's the inside of our car. So now we're going to take this and we're going to lay it across the top just like that. And we're going to put glue on this back flap. So just on the back, we want to glue that down. And I'm using liquid glue so that I can have wiggle room. So you want to glue this with your card shut, okay? Because you're only gluing it on to the back part, so that'd be all right. Then that'll become your envelope flap. That's the name of this fun fold, envelope flap, okay? And I seen this on Karen Titus's um, YouTube channel, so she's the one I seen. I've never seen um, this anywhere else, so I'm giving credit to her. And then we're going to glue this entire thing. I'm going to make sure I get plenty of glue on that flap. We don't want it coming up. We're going to glue that to our base here. We're just going to center that. 
card right on there, like so. Okay. Then we're going to get some Stampin' Dimensionals. Because this is how we're going to keep our card closed. We're going to pop this up, and that's going to be our little flap. Our little envelope flap. So you don't want to put dimensionals in the middle because you want your flap to be able to pop out and then you just tuck it back under, okay? So we're going to just pop that down onto the card. You don't want to put it too high because you want to make it easy to um, get that little flap out. Hmm. Maybe I should put it up a little higher. Be very gentle with taking that off. There we go. I think that's high enough. Then we're going to pop these up on here just like this. Okay. So I am going to put a dimensional. Let's get some scissors here. Actually, no. Let's just use our minis. Let's use some mini dimensionals. I'm going to put one at the top here and one at the bottom. And this should secure it just like we need it to. Just going to place that right there. And then we're going to do the same with this one. Um, let's get a mini. Another mini. But for this one, I think I'm going to put a large one on the side right there. To make sure that outside of it it'll be secured down as well. We're just going to put this... Oops. Oh my gosh, I forgot to put, um, I wanted to use some ribbon under here. I forgot. Let me see if I can still do it. Where did I put the ribbon? I have some of the Knight of Navy, um, bordered ribbon. And I wanted to put some on the card. I think I will just, um, do a little, like a tab that I can stick under there let's see let's see let's see because uh um yeah <laughs> not that way oh my goodness this way we'll just have it coming out like that yep that'll work that'll work so let me get a glue dot since i've forgot to put this on we're gonna get some glue dots. And again, I tell you my glue dots come from my paper pumpkin kits. I just save all of my material. So we're gonna put a glue dot right here to make sure this stays closed like that. Let me get these ends a little better. Whoops. Don't pull your ribbon. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm going to put a glue dot to secure this under our, um, our seashell here. Maybe I should have put another dimensional. I want to make sure that doesn't come up, that flap. So we're going to slide this in right there then let's see if we can slide in a dimensional because that looks like i don't know i just feel like i need a dimensional under there so let's put a dimensional on our take your pick tool yep that's good and lastly we are going to add some of our Enamel Dots Essentials. Two, 
to our card front. Which colors should I use? I have a lot of blue going on. So let's use some of the crumb cake. I'll put one there, one here, hmm. right there. Move, move. Then we'll put one more right over here. Come off, just like that. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, this is such a fun fold. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? And I picked this paper because I was saying friends are like seashells and then we have shells on this side of the paper. Oh, I love it. And you just tuck it back in. That is it, you guys. That's all I have for you. That's it. That's all. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I would like to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye.